Maybe this time.
Maybe this time. Okay. <laughs> I think we get it. That was Hercules reminding us Olympia. <laughs> For 10 solid minutes. Um, uh, bad morning, everybody. I'm Keith at 50th Street Studio with my co host. Except my microphone skills of taking yeah. the mute off. Yeah, I you know I didn't take your mute off until just now. So, oh okay, <laughs> yeah. I'm double muted. So my uh, double pleasure with double mint mute. My co-host Mike, who has been um, who has been co-hosting with me from episode two. This is episode fifty. Uh, he yeah. started with episode yeah. two, and that was Hercules. Chuck was in episode one, right? You had Chuck Chunning. Chuck Cunningham was in episode one, but that's, I replaced him. That's right. Him. That's right. And then he went upstairs, yep. Yep. and we never saw him again. We don't talk about him anymore. No, no. we don't. <laughs> we don't talk about what happened to his room either, or the basketball, or anything. The, else. Um, that's a awesome collection of uh, Hercules clips. Was actually not put together by me. I found it on YouTube. Um, <laughs> it was uh, put together by a, a YouTube genius named Floyd Robertson, and it's been on YouTube for eight years. <laughs> hmm. I guess called, it has like 300 views. Um, 8,300 like views. That's kind of low. Yeah. Be a lot higher than that. Yeah, the Mighty Hercules of the 40 endings. You can look that up yourself. And um, it gets, uh, it's one of those things that uh, when you start it out, you think, okay, that's kind of funny. And then it gets annoying. And then it starts to get side splittingly funny. <laughs> <laughs> We, we show that, of course. We've been watching Hercules uh, since episode two, along with Mike. And uh, it's one of those things that has changed our lives. And we look forward to Hercules every week. And even after 49 episodes of Hercules now, um, we're not even halfway through uh, that series. <laughs> um, unlike Charge Man Ken, which we are mostly through. Um, but uh, but today uh, again doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like yeah. it now again uh, today is special uh, this is episode fifty it's been uh, it's been more than a year mm-hmm. or or actually I didn't even bother to look up what what was my first it was early it was, was my early first July it was early um, it was early early July because there's been maybe three Saturdays in there where I didn't do a bad Saturday morning show including mm-hmm. uh, last week. Uh, like last I, week and Christmas or something like that, maybe. I took two. Uh, I took two Saturdays off after uh, after Christmas, mm-hmm. and so it's been three. So it's been just yeah. about a year, and um, uh, the first episode was Ultraman. I showed four episodes of Ultraman. I hosted it myself, and then I had the genius idea of bringing other people in, and starting the weekly, uh, watching weekly shows. It was a genius idea until yeah. you asked me. So there was a brief <laughs> moment where it was a genius idea. And then, <laughs> yeah. wah, wah, fail horn. Yeah, straight into the toilet. Thank you, D-Word, for the, uh, uh, for the $10 donation, by the way, during the, uh, um, during the Hercules uh, Spectacular. And that will, be, that will act as our flashback to Hercules, uh, of our past year of Hercules, which I think is more than enough. Mm-hmm. Um um uh, we uh, as always we are looking for uh, donations there's a, a clickable donation link in the twitch chat or you can donate to the uh, paypal address that's on screen here um I'm, i've always called d word d word i've always called him d words but i'm noticing now 
His name is actually D. Ward Sci-Fi. Yep. I wasn't about to correct you or anything, mm. unless unless uh, D. D. Ward wanted to be called that. Well, um, D. Ward, D. May I call you D? Uh, tell us about the, your. Uh, tell us about what the sci-fi means. He says any name is fine with me. Okay, that's a dangerous door that you just opened. Yeah, because there's, there's a yeah. Travis sitting right <laughs> over here that I can just pull right out and just call you Travis. No one wants yeah. to be called Travis. Not even yeah. Travis wants to be called Travis. Okay, well, we're this is going to be our, uh, our uh, super cheap uh, clip episode where we don't create any new content and we just show clips of, of old stuff while Mike eats. Um, I'm not eating. I'm drinking. Okay. Drinking. drinking. <laughs> All right. Um, so what I'm going to start with is what we uh, almost started with. Episode two. Uh, with episode two, I allowed my two co-hosts. I had two co-hosts uh, at the beginning. It was Mike and our friend uh, Captain Slinky, who uh, is no longer with us. <laughs> well, he I should, is with us. Just yeah. not, yeah. <laughs> he's just not. Uh, yeah, the wording there. He's just not here. He is still, he's yeah. not. He's not in the channel. Yeah, he does have he, his own channel. He, he, he actually, still... yeah, he hosted with us for a few weeks, and then he had some health problems. He actually had, uh, he was actually hospitalized for a while. Uh, Shenlong, hi, Shenlong just came in. But Captain Slinky, he had he had surgery. He had the uh, the problem with his head. It was actually a surgery on his skull somehow or other. And he has uh, he has uh, physical therapy on Saturday mornings, but um, he has started streaming. He he started up streaming again uh, mm-hmm. during the week, where you can you can go to his channel and watch him build um, build crazy lamps. That's his specialty. He builds mm-hmm. lamps out of junk. Miranda, Miranda's here. Congrats on wow. fifty episodes. She said, "Good to see you, Miranda. How are you? How the hell are you?" It is. I still just. It's still just sinking in, though. The way you phrased that reminded me of a time that a friend was telling her son that I had moved mm-hmm. someplace better in town, mm-hmm. and she and she told him, "Well, well, Mike has gone to a better place." <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "Wait, wait, that's not what I, how I want to phrase that." <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oops. He's Oops. he's gone to a better place. It's called uh, yeah. Bad Saturday Morning. It's called the uh, suburbs, honey. Yeah, Neil the Chiseler is here. Happy 50th, he says. Thank you. Um, speaking of which, Miranda, uh, episode two, uh, episode one, I hosted an Ultraman mini marathon myself. Episode two, I premiered the uh, Charge Man Ken and Hercules weekly watch throughs and introduced Mike and Captain Slinky. And they each contributed um, a show to that week, and they were terrible. Um, we were just following the. Rules. Yeah, yeah, you were. Yeah. <laughs> and then episode orders. episode three, we did the big thing. We we did we did the big thing that everybody liked. Um, leading up to this episode, I sent out emails uh, and I asked people, uh, "What are their memories of Bad Saturday Morning?" I only got two responses, sadly. But both of those responses said, "Bigfoot and Wild Boy." That's yep. <laughs> that's what they remembered. So. We're going to start with a clip, a lengthy clip from episode three. Ivory, hi, you're just in time. Miranda says, wow. my guys. Like it was yeah. yesterday. Yeah. I We're going to start with, like actually, I remember it as if it were a clip that I edited earlier just this morning. I thought we were just having We're going to show 90 minutes just of like Bigfoot and Wild a USB Boy. cable. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Hey. The great Northwest oh, comes oh, the legendary oh. Bigfoot, who eight years ago oh. saved a young child. Lost the Wakaches are strong. Yeah. Yeah. He, grew up to be wild he knows the word airplane. Yeah. He, he he said he said hola wild boy. So so the secret Bigfoot language is Bigfoot Spanish. Is is that? Yeah. Everyone knows that. It's a this is a master class in how to entertain. Ten-year-olds just keep showing them the thing they like over and over and over again. <laughs> oh, was it? Really, did you just? Oh yeah, the, <laughs> yeah. that's the leaping part. <laughs> yeah. 
So how did the Bigfoot, how did the Bigfoot Society stay a secret all these centuries? If, if they're screaming and leaping across the valley like this. This was 1977, Susie. by the Go way. Ahead. Tell me you don't need my that was a great year. Right. Yep. <laughs> it's okay. Do you guys want to call this ghosty, ghosty <laughs> doors? <laughs> <laughs> Alex, stay home and watch it. Wow, wow, boy. She, she looks up and gasps. She only just now before. noticed it was no, Bigfoot. You guys, I'm not going anywhere except that listen up. She just wrong. said she that we're going to a secret valley. There's a, there's a secret valley that her father's map she leads them to, the valley, where the rest of the map is. Oh. And I and I'm thinking, Wait, okay, huh? there's there's a secret valley. This is Oregon. <laughs> twenty twenty yards away. <laughs> yeah, as as points out, there's a secret valley over by the Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> so about twelve years later, okay. he still looks that good. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. Slee stack. Slee stack. Slee stack. <laughs> What? What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Gotta, gotta recharge the bat, the bat, the battery. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, we keep talking about the <laughs> area. <laughs> the screaming, the screaming and the leaping and landing right next to you. Now, Bigfoot. <laughs> now, Bigfoot. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Burm. Burm. Now see, this is, again, this is perfect for 10 year olds, because whatever, all the, the idiots who are the characters in the show are so dumb, they always forget that they have Bigfoot with them. I know, and, and he's like the, yeah. the, he's a Swiss army knife. Yeah, uh, right, uh, Swiss, Swiss army knife. And the 10 year, the 10 year olds watching are going, no, he's Bigfoot. Well, one good thing is he thinks you're trapped. <laughs> Bigfoot could do it. Now tell me everything. I, He's kind of like I the. I also think that the adults map. would be much more well, invested. In, oh my God, Bigfoot! Yeah. Yeah. For, forget about yeah. getting to the hidden valley. Yeah. This is no a monumental discovery. Right, right. We need to get yeah. this. Kind of like, kind of like Doug, the talking sleep. dog, and and up. But he's a talking dog. Bigfoot. See, this is a. Wild boy and Slee Stack at Tanagra. <laughs> wild boy. Yeah. And one day he'll be a wild man. See, he's going 60 miles an hour. The theme song starts and it says, from the great Northwest. So we're in, we're in like, uh, Oregon, Washington, British area. Columbia. Yeah, yeah, British Columbia. Mm. <laughs> and, and he says, Thanks. and he says that eight years ago, Bigfoot found a child and raised him to become Wild Boy. But look at Wild Boy; he's clearly, this is a twenty-six-year-old man. Oh, and Wilson. <laughs> this is <laughs> so. <laughs> so he got lost in the woods when he was what eighteen. Um, and, yeah. uh, <laughs> and he's, yeah. 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 so, so, so he was <laughs> Yeah, because so, you know? Big, Bigfoot does not speak English, and he barely understands it. But how did? Yeah, but Wild, Wild Boy, Boy cl his... clearly speaks yeah. and understands very good English. He's, he's very articulate. <laughs> he's very articulate. He's the smartest guy in the room, wherever, <laughs> whatever, whatever it is they're doing. Um, <laughs> yeah, he was eighteen. He he was out in the woods for a kegger, and. Uh, uh, the yeah, Bigfoot came to you're my wild boy now. Yeah. Okay. And that's another thing. Bigfoot named him Wild Boy. <laughs> <laughs> he calls him he Wild Boy. Him. It's the only it's the only word that we understand him saying. He's like Wild Boy. He named him Wild Boy. Is like I like, have a theory. What? Let's hear it, Mike. I have a theory. This is Chuck Cunningham. Oh who my missing God. Ah, season one. For, okay. There's your Peter Brady. No, you gotta stay. You gotta stay. I know, there he is. Quick, get out of here. The greatest Brady of all time. No, go get your dad. Oh, we make a 15 oh, minute episode last a half hour? Bam! Yeah. Wow, he actually knocked Bigfoot down. Whoa. This is this is historic. This is absolutely yeah. historic. Hey, that's we need our boulder, boulder throwing. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's Bigfoot's thing. Paper mache boulder away. <laughs> so he he just summoned Bigfoot. Ayaba. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, so this is Bigfoot. How Bigfoot does things. He leaps in between. Wow, they they weren't uh, that far. Much, uh, yeah. Oops. Oh, he started well, an avalanche. Okay, he started an avalanche. Same avalanche from the other episode. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and they're gonna get trapped in the cave with the avalanche again. Oh. And they're gonna really? forget. They're gonna forget that they have Bigfoot with them. They're gonna say, "How do we get out?" <laughs> oh, she did. Speaking of animals and people, how did you learn how to talk to I'm just oh, I'm to <laughs> Bigfoot. Right. So Bigfoot taught radical. Wild Boy everything he knows. Right, Bigfoot? Uh oh. What did he say? Yeah. He said, "If you do that again, he'll teach you a lesson." Ah <laughs> <laughs> ha so ha ha! Ripping off a limb or something. <laughs> so, Free frame. So okay. Come and knock on our door. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that episode ended. The, the The joke at the end there, the the laughable stinger at the end there, was Bigfoot threatening Susie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bigfoot was later brought up to uh, HR. Yeah. They said, hey, yeah. you can't do that. Yeah. You can't do that. Um, <laughs> I, I have to say, I watched a number of these, and there was a trend of of the episodes ending with Bigfoot saying something threatening to Susie, <laughs> and and everyone would and everyone would laugh. <laughs> and I, and I'm like, what was going on there? Were they were they doing that on purpose or? <laughs> Nothing says joy but threatening your friends. Yeah. Yes, yes. And a 10 year old girl for <laughs> crying out loud. Okay. All right. Wow. What a memory that was. Huh? <laughs> that, uh, that was that was great fun watching that. Just... Yeah, it was. I just the the, the not necessarily the the part with my face on it because I can't stand <laughs> what I sound like and what I look like. So. Well, stare, stare at the streams. Don't stare actually, at Twitch. Just stare actually, at the, the stare at Discord. The thing that makes it unpleasant for me is noticing how much healthier I looked only one year ago. <laughs> because <laughs> I looked a lot better than I do now. I I, I sure didn't feel better. Same. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, Ivory, Ivory, thank you for coming in. Thank you for your five dollar donation. Yeah, she says she liked the Brady Kid being evil. The Brady Kid was actually supposed to be a werewolf, <laughs> but they, all they all they did was glue some hair to the back of his arms. All uh, money went into the bolt, the boulders. Yeah. 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 Um, stuff. Yeah, that was great stuff. That's uh, we had so much fun watching that. And again, the only two. Uh, the only two requests I got were for Bigfoot and Wild Boy. So uh, later on in this episode, we will watch an episode of Bigfoot and Wild Boy that we have not seen yet on this show. So everybody stick around. Because, yeah, Iris is even better. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Brady, well, werewolf by night. All right. Um uh, once again, everyone, this is as if you haven't figured it out. This is uh, the 50th episode of of uh, Bad Saturday Morning. This is my co-host Mike, aka Mr. Fox Guy. We are taking Hello. donations as usual. Uh, there's a clickable link in the Twitch chat. You can donate at the the link below. The other the other big discovery that we had, and this was a complete surprise. Mike and I, and we we had with us that day. Uh, Carissa Carnahan, an artist friend, a local artist friend of ours up here in the Seattle area. We were watching some early uh, children's television and we discovered Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. And we we laughed our heads off all the way through it. Um, Kukla, Fran, and Ollie is something that I remember from my childhood, but the only thing I remember was the three of them a woman and these two puppets introducing movies. That's what they were doing when I was a kid. But when they started out in the 1950s, during early experimental days of television, they did a live show every day. Uh, uh, Fran Allison and these two puppets operated by Burr Tilstrom. 
Actually, he had a cast of like 50 different puppets that he was using. It's, it's astonishing. They would come on live TV and just wing it for half an hour. And they were basically live streaming uh, like, like mm -hmm. we're doing now, except that they were being watched by a couple of million people. Um, it's kind of depressing when I think about it now. <laughs> well, you, you can go ahead and be Fran if, if, if you want to. That's quite all right. Um, you want to do a, a, yeah. the casting but there. The, yeah. the, other shows, the other shows that we watched that day included one, another really amazing show called Mr. I Imagination, which I'd never heard of and which is apparently almost entirely forgotten. Uh, those of you who did not see it that day, you should look it up. Go on YouTube and look up for Mr. I Imagination. There's a couple of episodes available on there. This was uh, from the early 1950s, like 1954, 53, 54. And this guy was basically Doctor Who. Um, he was a Time Lord. He was totally a Time Lord. Um, uh, he was time traveling. The official Time Lord that we all know about, like Mary Poppins. Right, you know, right. Um, and it was... It was really illuminating, really great fun. <clears throat> and uh, we got to see a very young Walter Matthau playing a, a literally twirling mustache villain <laughs> who was trying to stop women from getting the vote. How evil can you get? <laughs> um, but then we watched Kukul, Fran, and Ollie, and here is a clip of the three of us laughing. I can see it now. <laughs> Fight team fight. Hiya, teammate. Hiya, team. Good. How Good are to you? See ya. Boy, you're looking collegiate. Hey, guys, come here a little closer. Well, all right. Yeah, right that's here. what Fran says, right? Yes, Gee, you look indeed. great. What? Oh, I feel wonderful. Wait a you know, I get homesick for Chicago about this time. He looks every familiar. Year. Oh, it's so great. Do you know who he is, Mike? New York. Well, yeah. Did we just for the weekend? Um, but, uh, um, wonderful to be here. Just the match like game guy. Uh, it's Gene Rayburn. Gene Rayburn. Yeah. Tonight. Oh, they do. They do. All I blood. Beulah Witch is another one of the puppets. We we need to watch an episode of Beulah Witch episode sometime. Beulah is amazing. <laughs> He's doing the the, st the stair stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. So, right, they were going to the different fraternity and sorority houses to see their exhibits, and they were going to have another bonfire. That's where we're going to burn the exhibits. And then after that, we're going to the end. We're going to the football game tomorrow, and then we're going to have another bonfire. It'll be a hot time in the old town tonight. <laughs> oh, sure. Make yourself at home, will you? Well, Phoebe, be along. Fire is starting here. They... Well, that's, that's much better. Thing. I like that I on the floor better, so anyway. Those... Stairs in one jump. I like it oh, on the floor know, better. He's down there, but he always sounds as though you're up there. <laughs> well, that's what television does to sound, you say. Well, we, thing. we found that he can just adjust himself to anything. This is not well, scripted in this yeah. No. Oh. You can tell how much fun they're having. What's happening? Yeah. What's well, Stephen, there's so many people back in New York who are so unhappy over this little thing that happened last night. Oh, I yes. Was it Madame Orchinette? Yes, indeed. Terrible. They won't. Madame Ogilvy has been sulking. She won't come out. She says she, a little while ago she said she wasn't going to the football game or anything. Yeah. She wouldn't even speak to me. No, I know. She would hardly. She, well, she. I don't mean that she wouldn't speak to me, but she preferred to speak with no one. She said. Yeah, she sighed. I right, knocked her. She's going. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> yeah. I think I'd uh, like to take a. A chance at cheering her up a little. Do you think she I might would totally watch this every day? Yeah. yeah. Gee, well, you could try. Not, you, maybe you want to freshen up a little bit there. No, right, all right. Right over there. Well, I have to shower. go get those things that oh, all right. uh, I brought for the We'll see you the top step. Oh, okay. We'll cover the top step there. Lovely boy. Yeah, see, I told you. It's a little awkward. Yeah, well, you know, it's that carpet. Oh, well, you know. He's a nice fellow, isn't he? Yeah, we, we, I did a surprise. Yeah, I wired him. I said, we're going to have homecoming and, and everything. <laughs> Ollie, you're so great. I'm hot, too. You just think of it, are you? Yeah. Why don't you take it off? I can't. I'm going to be collegiate if it kills me. <laughs> How about you? Are you comfortable? I'm dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I, 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 I,
And if you'd like to have your copy. She she well, she did a callback to Ollie's j Ollie's gag. <laughs> Stream. <laughs> yeah. Madam Overflow. I have to climb these stairs. Well. I like how they're sticking to that gag, yes, though. Indeed. Yeah. Darling! How are you? Fine! Good to see you, Beulah. Now, wait a minute. Let's not have any more of that. No more of that now. Yes? That's one of the reasons I came to Chicago this weekend. You've caused a great deal of consternation all over the country. Kids are like, what? Oh, we know what that word means. Now, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Had a little quarrel. Yes, that's one of those $10 words, huh? This is a very dear friend <laughs> yeah. of mine, and I'm really very sorry, Beulah. Well, well, I am too, dear. I, I lost my head. Really, it's silly to behave like that. <laughs> We're all sorority sisters and everything. That's the spirit. That's the way everyone likes to see you. Beulah. You're going to stay for the weekend? Yes, indeed. <laughs> I, knew, I knew you'd make up, and I brought again? a little something for each of you. <laughs> really? Yes, I did. I brought it all the way from New York. Aren't you sweet? Ophelia, my dear. Yeah. We had such a wonderful time together at Nantucket. Yeah. I brought you a uh, <laughs> yeah. stole. Oh, aren't you divine? It's no. just the thing for the game tomorrow. Yes, it'll it'll keep your shoulders warm. It's really something. How about me? Oh, I have something for you too. <laughs> How about I me? brought you a beautiful uh, fur uh, a fur piece. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it lovely? It, well, it, you what know, you that? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? It's, oh, look it's at me. Yeah, it'll oh, go darling, around, it's beautiful. It'll go around it's twice, beautiful. you see. Oh, it's divine. It'll keep your shoulders warm and, and your, you know. It, it's, oh, it's, you're it's, 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 you're it's, a darling. Oh, you're a darling. Oh, you're a Oh, it's wonderful. Everyone's happy. And Where did you trap again. that? Hi, oh, really <laughs> boy. How are Thanks you? Thanks a million. You're sensational. I'm glad peace has been restored at last. Well, kid, now I tell you, yes. we'll be ready for the bonfire in just a few minutes. All right. It was just wonderful having you on the show today. So okay. uh, we'll meet you in just a few minutes, huh? And right, I'll down these stairs for the last time. Okay. Now, here we go. Brian, look how it's worked out. Yes, perfect. He's like, if you make me do this great? again, I'm oh, leaving the yes. show. What beautiful gift. Oh, aren't they wonderful? Oh, yes. Oh, joy! Oh, rapture from above! Oh, bless all hands to me! Those mothballs are here every time. <laughs> <laughs> Happy days. Happy days. All right, all right. <clears throat> okay. We enjoyed that so much that... Um, uh, we started a new series called Throwback TV, and for our first episode, uh, Mike and I watched three more episodes, and we need to do that again someday. Um, Neil the Chiseler is here in our chat here on Twitch, and he came over here from the uh, Kukla Fran and Ollie channel, and he is reminding us that uh, the, the Kukla Fran and Ollie channel on YouTube is, uh, is returning to a Monday through Thursday uh, premiere of previously unseen uh, episodes, 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern. That's 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific. I've been noticing those coming up. I've I've been intending to uh, to binge watch them. I, I should be watching them live because he. I don't know how this works on YouTube, but you can <clears throat> you can set you can upload. Uh, you you can upload a video and set it to premiere at a certain time and then it basically starts to stream live and then people can can chat while they watch it live i don't understand how that works but uh that's what he that's what he's been doing over there 
um, uh, not Neil, but uh, uh, remind me of the the name of the guy. Uh, Neil says, "Whoops, I meant three days a week: Monday, Thursday, and Saturday." It says those dashes trip me up every time. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> commas dashes. What's the difference? Uh, Mark Milano. That's right. Mark Milano is the one who uploads those. So just go to uh, YouTube and search for Kukla Fran and Ollie, and you will see the KFO channel. Subscribe to it, please. Uh, Shenlong, uh, Shenlong is here. He said, uh, "Happy fiftieth, thank you, Shenlong." Uh, I'm here with Mike, uh, aka Mr. Fox Guy, and we're. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but we've been going down memory lane. Uh. <laughs> Like, watching, like, uh, it was like I can remember it so vividly. How come we're not? How come we're not doing the effect? How come we're not? Because I don't have that? an effect like that. Oh, I tacked one onto the beginning of that uh, uh, of that Bigfoot and Wild Boy video, but it kind of it, it doesn't work all that well. So, um, uh, I may. I figure... mean, maybe there's a trigger word that we are trigger phrase <laughs> like, like it's like whoa. Remember the way things were back yesterday? A, a trigger word like Niagara Falls. Yeah. I wonder what things were like back in 1855. <laughs> no? Damn it. Uh, Carol came in. Hi, Carol. She says congrats on 50. Hey, Carol. Uh, I was getting ready to start another uh, collection of clips here. Um, let me see what else I have. Uh, in my collection of videos, let's see if there's anything else I wanted to show in the meantime. Why would I want? Oh, Not, uh, oh, well. the, the classic one would be, well, that's what I call a sticky situation. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Remember that time where we got thrown into a Turkish prison? Right. Uh, Neil is saying the it's tiny tunes. working either. The tiny tunes version was where i remember it just like it was a flashback the thing that that david letterman used to do was the thing that i did here at the big at the beginning he, he says i remember it like it was a montage we edited just this morning <laughs> and that, that's that's what does it um okay so i'm about to watch another click neil just donated five dollars we've got twenty dollars for today thank you d ward and ivory and uh, neil it's twenty dollars for today. Of course, our goal every week is a hundred dollars. Um, but uh, I'm not going to talk about donations much today. Um, I'm just going to put on this other collection. This collection starts out with uh, one thing in particular. I wanted to remember it was the first time that I made the decision to pull the plug on on a show because I just couldn't stand it, and <laughs> it was the New Zoo Review which should not be surprising <laughs> for those of you who remember it. God, what a terrible show. I don't know how that show lasted so long. Um, Somebody got paid off. Yeah. But uh, I've got a montage here that'll last a good, uh, uh, a good eight or nine. Uh, how long is it? 10 minutes or so? And Neil says, Oh no. I thought it was hours. Yeah. Was it hours. Is each episode like three hours long? <laughs> Like, but this, like if Martin Scorsese directed yeah. an episode of News, News Review, it'd be three and a half hours long. Yeah, Neil says I remember the theme song and literally nothing else. Well, you'll you'll have some flashbacks of your own when I when I play these clips. This starts News with review. This starts the with the new TV show. Starts with the News oh. Review, and it's a collection of other stuff, and it'll all come Let's back to it. you. It'll all come back to you, Mike. Fight team fight, hi oh, teammate. Oops. Good. How are you? Oops, wrong clip. Wrong memory. I had a. Had a um, I like. I like. I like that one. Yeah. That was pretty cool. All right. Now here we are for real. Was the, that news review? Uh, the the review. Uh, the other the other montage. I eat when I'm sad. <laughs> I just wish there was a little pill I could take that'd make me happy. Oh. Then I wouldn't eat so much, and I could ah, wear my dress ping. to the cotillion. Yeah. Henrietta, you will never find happiness in a pill. Ah, oh, just think of it. Happiness in a pill. Uh, Any Joe didn't get Zombie that way without a pill. Yeah, and see, this is am. Charlie Owl, discoverer of happiness. This is missing the mark, bad. Charlie? If you well, ask me, I think this I can is not pretty high happiness capability. Not a hundred percent, maybe, but close. Well, I know somebody it won't make happy. 
Well, how about handkerchief man? <laughs> Slinky <laughs> says, Jim Henson's <laughs> Breaking Bad Babies. In fact, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna stop this episode and move on to a different one because I can't tolerate it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna start another episode altogether. For Leslie Stahl. What a power so the to title, Ed Bradley. Yeah, the title of the the episode is "Bomb in the Brain," and it, yeah, sure enough, this is a bomb in the brain. You were murdered. Your human robot was a bomb. That's a, okay. Is is he like a conspiracy theorist or something? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. That's really the theme song? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. That was my reaction, too. I'm making myself beautiful for you, Pooty Boo. <laughs> How about a little kissy poo? Oh, oh of course, boo. Oh, oh, oh. oh dratty boo. Now, oh, oh, that pucker angel, dear. I'll be right back. Oh. Come in. Hi, tall, dark, oh, God. ruby. I can't even look. Ah, uh, Orella DeVille. Oh, oh God. Oh. Well, uh, I... I always like the sound of the web. Wait, wait, Gene. What? What? Did he? Wow. He just shot Spider Man? There he is. Get him. What for? He hasn't done anything yet. He hasn't done anything yet. <laughs> yeah. At least he's taking his job seriously. Right, Brutus, put him in. Yeah. See? I told you. Now capture him. Here we go. Ah. Which one? No, I don't care which one. Get him both. That man's an imposter. <laughs> that man is the imposter. <laughs> there can't be two spiders, eh? Well, well, well. This is the treat, if I do say so, and who are your friend, Crazy Quilt? Oh, uh, oh, hello, Presto. Uh, may I make you acquainted with Judy and Jimmy and Patty O'Cinnamon? How do you do? How do you do? Any friend of Crazy Quilt Patty is a friend O'Cinnamon? of mine, as I always say. So glad is to see you, and how are you? Well, how's about a few carrots, huh? Us rabbits is gonna get tough if you don't crash through with some grub, and we shall see <laughs> Oh, pardon well, there's me. There's a screaming okay, rabbit. Is that Annie well, M? That white rabbit say that? <laughs> everything was fine until you came to this island. Now you've ruined everything, and I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Francesca, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. <laughs> Fra- Fra- Francesca. Oh, no, Francesca. say, say, Mary. Hurry. <laughs> You're hysterical. Calm down. I, I hate to do this. Oh. oh. I'm sorry oh. about that. Oh, Felix. Oh, you're not mad. Uh-oh. Oh, Felix. Oh, no. I think you're still hysterical. <laughs> oh, Felix. Oh, God. Oh, she's into that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I've been such a fool. <laughs> <laughs> Real water. What a celebration. The preparations have been going this guy's on for days. This costume design is the you know, it thing. reminds me of how we uh. used to get ready for Christmas at this time of year. Christmas? What's that? An Earth holiday? A Another one who doesn't know. Wait a minute. Holiday. Okay, hang on. So the I Queen of Etheria is an Earth woman? Is that is that the deal? Something like that, yeah. I assume that's He-Man's mom, right? Uh, uh, oh. Uh. Mr. Mayor, tell her not to cut Lucy Pope well. Don't worry about that, little one. Your treat, I mean, Mrs. Hopewell, is going to be all right. Whoa. Wow. That's what you wow. Think, children. Seize that woman. <laughs> Seize that woman. 
Whoa! Really? Oh, no. Wow, she's 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 Go committing to committing to this. Oh! <laughs> nice. <laughs> What the hell was that? What was the British English accent? accent? Yeah. Hey, look, uh -oh. guys. There's, a, there's, there's. Oh, oh it's, it's Santa Claus. Oh, 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 oh. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> a very tragic example, I'm afraid, Miss. Lane. Lane. Lois Lane. <laughs> the one Superman always saves. Afraid <laughs> <Great> so. <laughs> 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 and that's Dana Delaney mm -hmm. as Lois Lane. I love the way Superman is, the way he's presented here. Thanks for scrapping mm -hmm. me in. The subtle way he's introduced. <laughs> Just pull the door off. Whoa. Oh! Yeah, I have not watched any of these. But I did see the uh, opening theme song for Free Willy, and it made me want to kill myself. See, just from the first strains of this theme song, you're like, oh, God. Okay, and they have so you don't a, have this on vinyl. What? They have a GI. They have a GI Joe supervillain who's torpedoing them from a secret submarine to this music. By a plan so sly. Ah. Yeah. What the hell? Okay, I didn't expect this at all. <laughs> but fish actually looked shocked. They're going in a different direction. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, she was ready to pick her up. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lonely house housewife right there. I keep in rumbling lots of fun to every he and he. It's plain to see that you can tell if me by my checkered hat, checkered coat. My funny giggle in my throat. My silly dance like a billy goat. Put them all together, put them all together, and it's here. Dang, this is exhausting me already. I need a nap. Yeah. <laughs> God, I'm winded just watching him do that. The opening act, though, you know, everybody's just going yeah. to sleep now. Are y'all happy? Yeah. I keep all the important papers that I solve all the problems with slimes and, and the course. You can totally see Pee Wee Herman coming out of this. Is it the, was it who, who said the, that? I, yeah. Ivory did, yeah. Yeah, the, the Pee Wee, Pee -wee uh, the, the original Pee Wee Herman live show was a satire of Pinky Lee. That was the whole yeah. point. the door is rolled. Oh, who Wow. <laughs> Turning into like a Dotron. Yeah. <laughs> That was abrupt. That was... We gotta go through there, Gumby. This is only level oh, one. I hate this level. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> man, that sucks. Well, if you're afraid, you gotta get some extra Gumbies before you can get in there. You know. I'm not scared. Find it out. I just don't like it. At least there are no caca demons yet. <laughs> yeah. Dead. 
<laughs> Sorry, Mr. Doe. We didn't mean to keep you waiting, but spooky trips. With all those legs, I'm not surprised. <laughs> With all those legs, I'm not surprised. <laughs> got to hurry before the door closes. Okay. Okay, I guess that was that was all I included in that clip. I was thinking there was more. <laughs> I knew I was going to forget something, and I, 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 I didn't know what I was going to forget, but I knew I would forget something, and I forgot to bring the clip of us watching uh, Andy's gang, watching the, that horribly... Uh, oh, no, the animals. The, the oh. animals, the, the heavily drugged monkey, and the cat and the hamster trapped in, in machines. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to reiterate that I was exhausted watching Pinky Lee dance yeah. again. I'm mm -hmm. just, I, had a, I had a big old 12-ounce thing of coffee, and I'm like, I'm ready yeah. to, to, to go lay down for 40 weeks. Can you imagine so. doing doing that every day for years? Good God. Uh, no. no. I have a very fertile <laughs> no. imagination. That's not going to happen. <laughs> but there are no. so many, so many clips. We've done so many hours of this. Yeah, I don't know. I... I have no idea what else to include. Every every show is available to watch uh, here on uh, Twitch, so all of you go watch all of it because <laughs> I don't know what to direct you to. Starting at the end of this one, don't don't do it. Now. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that first time that we watched early children's television, we watched Howdy Doody, we watched Andy's Gang. We were surprised at how good Howdy Doody was. We were surprised at how horrifying Andy's gang was. <laughs> and we were not at all surprised how how much... Um, uh, it wasn't Captain Video. What was his name? Um, Cap um, Captain something or other. We were not at all surprised how, much, how concerned he was about commies. We yeah. weren't surprised about that at all. Um... Uh, but anyway, that's it for our collections of clips. I've got a few other things to show you. I want to show, let's see, excuse me. Um, what did I want to show? We watched the, uh, collection of Hercules stuff. We had a nod in that clip collection to, um, um, Charge Man Ken. Again, there's so many moments from Charge Man Ken I, sh I could have shown, but that one about the bomb in the guy's brain just about summed up that show. <laughs> I mean, the hell of a bomb. It, was, it took down an entire uh, flying battleship. Um, I mean, it, we, we would do it if we were driving around with someone who was backseat driving, maybe. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of <laughs> cathartic watching him do that. Like, yeah. we know what it feels like to just yeah. go, eject button. <laughs> Uh, Miranda says that she donated uh, three dollars. Thank you, Miranda. Um, she says, uh, "What did she say? I'm I'm hella broke, but I donated I donated three dollars. Don't don't break yourself making donations. We appreciate the donations, but but uh, yeah, don't break yourself. But thank you, Miranda. That's uh, so that's twenty three dollars for today. There there's a thing that I want to do. I I, I want to introduce a new a new weekly show to watch. And we talked about, Mike and I talked about that last week. I want to start showing this bizarre thing that Mike and I remember called Outer Scope 1. And we don't think that anyone else in the world remembers Outer Scope 1. Um, and I think uh, uh, Miranda says, congrats on 50 episodes, my friend. Well worth my last three dollars. Well, thank you. Uh, later on in this show, uh, in this episode, I'm going to show an episode of Bigfoot and Wild Boy. So stick around, Miranda. And I think I'm going to show the first episode of Vegetable Soup, which includes Outer Scope One. And then next week we can start we can start watching weekly episodes of Outer Scope One. Really bizarre show. Some episodes are going to be really difficult to sit through, um, but it gets weird, and it gets better as it goes along. It's it's not one of those shows. Oh, we like the weird stuff. Yeah, it's not one of those shows that starts off strong and then gets weak. This show gets weirder and weirder and better and better as it goes on. And again, I don't know anyone else who remembers this. I'm surprised Mike does. Uh, I remember we'll, it vividly. Yeah, we'll look at this uh, a little bit later. Right now, there's a thing that I want to show again. Um, let's go into the TV room. 
while I was watching, while I was showing the uh, uh, Duck Soup with the Marx Brothers uh, a, a couple of weeks ago, uh, Ivory says, you have the right audience for Weirder and Weirder. Well, hopefully this is something that Ivory has never seen. Um, while I was showing the uh, Marx Brothers in Duck Soup, I, I started it with a short film called, uh, fr from the Joe McDoke series, and I'm going to start playing that here. And something happened that made me think of a, a weekly feature that I want to do. <clears throat> because as this episode starts, uh, those of you who didn't see the Marx Brothers thing, I want you to see if you can identify this guy's voice. You know this guy's voice. Take a listen and think about it. Close your eyes for a moment. I've got a surprise for you. Alice, I've got a surprise for you. Alice, I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> I can't get enough of this. Joe, <laughs> I'll be next door. Gregor is playing Brahms' third movement. Your dinner's on the stove. I'm going to play Alice. it again. I've got a surprise for you. Alice, I've got a surprise for you. Alice, I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> Are you all figuring it out? Joe. I already had it figured out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Mike knew this. Is playing Brahms third movement. Your dinner's on the stove. Alex okay, Brown. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say one name before he comes in the door. Um you you all are gonna be kicking yourself for not for not knowing this. But you, you were recognizing his voice without knowing it. Mm. Uh Neil says Neil's as a, as a lifelong tune head, I already know the answer. Yeah. You were recognizing this guy's voice, and you were thinking to yourself, I know this, I know this. Okay, this guy was George Jetson. Mm -hmm. Listen again. Alice, I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> Alice, I've got a surprise for you. Alice, I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> Jane, stop this crazy thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Carissa and I, I were Carissa and I were watching that and we were laughing like you and I are right now. And we were wishing <laughs> that we could see if there was some film of him standing in front of the microphone yelling, Jane, stop this crazy <laughs> thing. And probably not. Probably not. So this it's made me thing. think this made me think that I want to start doing this all the time. And I'm gonna start I'm gonna I'm gonna start with a special clip here. Let me open this file. I want you all to listen to this woman's voice. Diana, someone has parked a most disreputable looking vehicle outside my window. <laughs> These gentlemen. Oh. Mike, you might know this, but don't blurt it out. Okay. Who is she? You all know her voice. Yes. What is it you wish? Well, I'd like to get my nephew started into school. Here. <laughs> Here's all right if you got room for a Irene knows it. lunch basket. My dear man, this is a most exclusive private school. The tuition is quite expensive. Well beyond your means, I'm sure. Does that mean it costs a lot of money? That is precisely what it means. Well, I can pay you if it ain't over 25 million. <laughs> 25 million? Yes, ma'am, that's all I got. Dollars? Yes, ma'am. In cash. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> this is obviously a practical joke perpetrated by one of my envious competitors. What is your name? Uh, Jed Clampett, ma'am, and this here... And you expect me to believe that you have $25 million? Well, no, not on me, ma'am, but uh, my neighbor, Mr. Drysdale, he's keeping it in his bank for me. Uh. <laughs> Get me Melbourne Drysdale at the Commerce Bank. You see, it just so happens that Mr. Drysdale holds the mortgage on this school, so we are very well acquainted. What a voice. Yeah. You, <laughs> you know who she is, don't you, Mike? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eleanor Oddly. Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, I think Ivory obviously knows uh, knows her voice. Have the rest of you figured it out? Are the rest of you stumped, or have we figured it out? Um... Uh, um 
Okay, we've we got someone talking strangely in the Twitch chat. Um, have the rest of you, do the rest of you have any ideas? The rest, have the rest of you figured it out? Uh, Neil says, I'm stuck. D Word says, I'm stumped. You won't be uh, as soon as I show you this clip. <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm about to, uh, Ivory is about to give it away. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to press play. <laughs> One of my favorites. Now shall you deal yeah. with me, O oh Prince, and all the powers of hell. Wow. Wow. <laughs> the artwork is just absolutely sumptuous. Yeah. Listen well, all of you. The princess shall indeed grow in grace and beauty. When she speaks quietly, she's actually more frightening. Mm-hmm. Before the sun sets on her 16th birthday, she shall prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel and die. God, I love this movie. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Seize that creature. Stand back, you fools. <laughs> Seeing it on Blu-ray is a trip, too. Yeah. Yeah. That movie was practically... It was practically in 3D when you, when you see it on mm -hmm. a really good picture. Yeah, it's an astonishing film. Um, knowing knowing that voice, <laughs> watch this watch this woman in this scene uh, again. Someone has popped a most disreputable thing. These gentlemen. Oh. Oh. What is it you wish? Well, I'd like to get my nephew started into school. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Here's all right if you got room for a desk and his lunch basket. My dear man, this is a most exclusive private school. The tuition is quite expensive. Well beyond your means, I... She was also... She was in Beverly Hillbilly. She was also in uh, Green Acres. She had a recurring role in Green Acres. In fact, I'm going to show you... I'm going to show you a clip from episode one of Green Acres. Oliver Douglas. Mother! <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. What have you done to this child? Mother! Oh, there, there, darling. Mother's here now. Oh. <laughs> Oliver, is it true? This what true? What Lisa told me on the telephone, that you've bought a farm. Yes. Go pack your things. You're moving in with me. <laughs> I told you not to marry him. I warned you. Look, whose side are you on, anyway? Hers. But you're my mother. <laughs> <laughs> those were great shows. Those those yeah. really were well-made shows. <laughs> but you're my mother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm I'm glad that uh, some of you were surprised by that because I think that's a great surprise to pull on people. Mm -hmm. uh, what a what an amazing voice! Um, mm -hmm. Ivory says, "I remember my dad laughing and laughing at that show." That was Green Acres was a much weirder show than I remembered. I I remember seeing it when I was a kid. I've seen some of it uh, in recent years, and that was that show was went beyond sitcom. It was like theater of the absurd. It was. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, there there was that one character, that one old farmer who could see the titles scrolling up the mm -hmm. screen. He could see them. <laughs> and nobody else could. Um, God, that was a weird show. Um, okay, let's get back on track here. What else did I want to show you? There's, uh, uh, there's one other thing I wanted to show. What did I want to show? Well, I don't remember. Uh, no, show whatever then. Yeah, show show whatever. All right, well, why don't we watch uh, Bigfoot and Wild Boy? What? Yes, let's. This is an episode that we have not shown here yet on uh, Bad Saturday Morning. So let's get on with it. Shall we? Go back into the TV room here. All right, press play. <laughs> 
Out of the great northwest comes the legendary Bigfoot. See, it's the great northwest. Ago, saved a young child lost in the vast wilderness and raised that child until he grew up to be wild boy. <laughs> <laughs> what was he doing in the interim when he wasn't grown up? He was like interning as wild boy until he could earn it or something? <laughs> Okay, the inferior replacement for Susie. Unfortunately. I don't mean to be judgmental. Miles away, heart to heart is getting getting made. <laughs> He saw the names Ruby Spears in there. So they were working, they left uh, Hanna-Barbera and were working for Croft mm -hmm. before they started their own outfit. Actually, at this point, no, that was DePatey Freeling. I get DePatey Freeling yeah. and Ruby Spears mixed up sometimes. Uh, quality shouldn't, you know, have any, give you any confusion. No. All set. Oh, Larkin, my friend. As soon as I attach these two wires, right here. Uh-huh. Exposition time. Down. You and me, may the two Richards men this side of Colorado. At least they're wearing hard hats. <laughs> yes, sir. But every villain in this show has that what? same white oh, truck. Even my professors in college will be excited. Kosabata. Konola. What do you say about what Kosabas? Bigfoot says you should have seen what his ancestors saw when they ruled these entire mountains. <laughs> Where's ISIS? <laughs> I wish I had been. You should have seen what his ancestors saw. <laughs> ISIS could show up right now and yep. I wouldn't blink an eye. Line one for the county. Now, Avalanche, anyone? They blew their hats off. <laughs> he woke up Lurch? What? A harpsy card going on there? This episode is called... An explosion. Wild Boy. Karamala. Norkai. Right. Let's find out what's happening. This episode is called Return of the Vampire. Oh, no. Yeah. He's way behind him, though. I guess it's not to speed it to the RPMs, right? <laughs> the the RPMs. What, what is that? They had a secret man. He's all there. He's slacking behind. He's there, and you're there. Go get the truck. Yeah. Yeah, Miranda. So they just don't see the coffin? <laughs> Give me that coin. Okay. Now, the first time we watched um, Bigfoot and Wild Boy a year ago, I talked about this episode because it was so dumb. She's wearing the, the Transylvania Dracula cape. It was on sale. Yeah. You too can be a vampire. Huh? What? 
She couldn't even fit those right, Halloween teeth. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Now, you are servants of my coven. And you share you my okay. power. We are your servants. <laughs> and you will bring me others to join you. We will bring you others. Out fin in the middle of nowhere. Finish the sentence to join you. Can't, can't even hypnotize good help. What happened here? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Loaded question. What happened here? Well, let's see. There was First, you know, the continents kind of separated. And... Okay, some kid in animal skins comes running out of the woods. I no, says to you, what happened here? You, who the hell are you? Stop the boy. Boy? Okay, he's gonna throw a rock. <laughs> of course. That's what everybody does. Not there. Yeah, he still hasn't caught up. <laughs> You've made a good observation here. The wild boy is outrunning him by by quite a pace. <laughs> Didn't he just get there with like a few time well timed jumps? Oh, Bonk. Would, have missed him. would have missed him anyway. Yeah. Yeah, Neil. Neil, Charge Man Ken would have ended this already. Well, boy, hurt. Yep. No, I'm all right. Now let's get down. Quick! They went into the tunnel. Hurry before they escape. There's a torch. Of course. You know, maybe Wild Boy isn't English. It's translated into Big Bigfoot as weak, ineffectual, older man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Roger Corman would approve that. That's a good point, Neil. Lady Drac just used the power of the patriarchy to save her skin. Bigfoot, you go down this well, that's an excellent point, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I may want to avoid those uh, tor torches a little bit, you know. Right up the flames. Thank you for coming, Ivory. Yes, definitely watch it later. No, maybe... Maybe Wild Boy is a lost Bradford from 8 is enough. It's going to be 9, nine is enough, and, you know... Uh, trim it down. That's the same theory you forwarded the first day. Did I really say that? Yeah, he did. That he's a Bradford? Mm-hmm. Wow, I suck. Old broken record. <laughs> yeah, you started off uh, I saying... Thought it was, I thought it was Chuck. I thought it was Chuck. You started from, off uh, saying it was Chuck, and as we uh, discussed it, you said, Bradford. oh, maybe he's a Bradford. Mm. And it's... Well, and Chuck is theory. actually... Friends Chuck is actually point. Bigfoot. Maybe he was the original greatest American hero. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. <laughs> Cindy, you it better was, stay you know, with us. Or Ralph got the it. The two men who set off the explosion attacked me outside. After you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, meow.
<laughs> Ow! Got my toe. I think... I think Bigfoot knows that when he's in the cave, he's the thing that people should be afraid of. They have telepathy? Do not worry, my servants. I will save you. This is getting repetitive. Oh, wow. What would happen if a vampire bit a Bigfoot? That's that's a great question. Hmm. A Bigfoot that could turn into a bat. Okay, so that's how she changes. Okay. I actually didn't get that until... Time killing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a real time run. Wow. With the, Hurry, yeah. I think they didn't edit that. I think they forgot to do that. They forgot <laughs> to slow it down. Because <laughs> he looked kind of like, oh, gonna I have to leave. get there. He steps in. That's a good question. I wonder what the. Is the bull fight gonna want to. <laughs> I wonder what the the editing process was like. You know, someone Thanks looking, so. someone looking over the the video editor's shoulder and saying, "Put the put the run sound in there. Yeah. We, we need something else right there." <laughs> Steve Austin, Bigfoot, a man barely alive. <laughs> I remember um, in fourth grade, there was a kid in our class who thought that the theme song said, Steve Austin buried alive. <laughs> <laughs> we always thought that was funny. <laughs> Is that actually gonna he just work? stood there the whole time? Yeah, he did just stand there the whole time. It just kind of ran by and went, I'll oh, catch you guys later. I'll see you at the coffee shop. Yeah. I think they use the avalanche, the avalanche trope in every single episode. Her coven. Oh, so she's a vampire witch. Mm. Wow. Well, that would... The court is really throwing me off, man. Like... <laughs> That would be a powerful Whoa. combination. A, a witch vampire. No. Oh. 
you know, I guess it wouldn't be blind in the cave. It'd have to be screeching like over and over again, so it makes sense. It looks like it's laughing. <laughs> kind of like a skeletal laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Swat that, please. Huh. Come on, spin around and become Wonder Woman. Come on, you can do it. Who are you? What do you want? I'm not buying any of this. I'm, I'm sorry. It's planned 1977. Not, not nine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay. Go grease that in your cruise down the corner. Oh. Those stupid teeth. Oh, well, that was Welcome that was convenient. Car. Yeah. Oh, she's been crying. Aw. Her eye makeup sponge. I am here to serve. What is your command, Countess? Now it is time to Countess, the of course. Boy. So the vampire's a Karen who's getting the customer service people to bow to her wishes. Is that what it is? Not every person who became a vampire was a count or countess. Yeah. Being a vampire doesn't make you a count. Maybe like a Dauphin, maybe? Or, <laughs> Dauphin. Uh, or a Dauphin. of some kind. Or a Duchess. Yeah. Bigfoot! Or a Meisterburger. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Probably dreaming he's a Muppet, you know? Sneak up behind a vampire pretty easily, right? You know, with the non peripheral vision and the big old fan thing out of here. You know? <laughs> that tap, tap on the opposite shoulder thing quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. You know, I just. Beware the vampire. Lose her, and you lose the demons of doom. Who the hell wrote that? Oh. So she actually did get bit. But you know, I just realized Come on, I'm getting you to a doctor. One no, of the advantages of having a vampire on your team. And you will be two when you are one of us. A hall of mirrors would not fool them at all. No. Nope. Know It'd be kind of disorienting at first, but you know. Mm. Oh, just let light her on fire. She does nothing for herself. Not at all. Not a damn thing. Miranda says Wild Boy what? goes to doctors. <laughs> Did he say something about a doctor? I was talking about Hall of Mirrors. Yeah. You can't escape them! Stop him! Dude, she walked right out into the sun. Yeah. Not a vampire. Look well, at that rubber log he just picked up. Look like a giant rubber jack, you know? Yeah. Non biotic jump. Yeah, that's a that's a good point, Miranda. 
all the doctors in the valley would be like, oh, here comes Wild Boy with another injured camper. <laughs> Not how wood works. <laughs> oh, then they drop their weapons. Oh, the oboe comes in. Okay. Oh, say. <laughs> One at a time, ladies. <laughs> Plenty of wild boy to go around. <laughs> <laughs> Neil wants to know if we're playing by Twilight rules. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't worked the last ten times. Anthony! Stella! Rast Tower. <laughs> Rast Tower. <laughs> the power of Waka Chawaka, he is reborn! A full 60 miles an hour down the cavern. No. Needs to be stopped. No. <laughs> now get back in there where you belong. It is not <laughs> I who will be stopped. It is you who will stop me. Get back in there where you belong. Is this actually gonna work? You can't stop me. How convenient. Yes, we can. Yeah. D Ward got my A yes, tour reference. Can, can. Nice corner sisters going on there. Yes, we can, can, can. Yeah, whatever. Wild boy. Bigfoot. What's happened? What's going on? We'll explain later. Right, Bigfoot? I don't think that's no, how. No, how to explain. Let me, let me, let me sum up. I don't think that's how vampires work. You just put them in their coffin, and then their their bite power will stop working. Here. Yeah, do you do your avalanche thing, Bigfoot? Yeah. Oh, is he just stacking rocks? Oh, he's not even gonna do an. Not even gonna do an avalanche. Well, the gold's nothing compared to burying all of those old relics of history. But if we didn't, people come back looking for more gold. And just maybe find the cave and release the vampire again. Kalakma, no tore. What did he say? That some of the secrets of history are better off left unknown. You mean like you and Bigfoot? Well, <laughs> yes, now that you mention it. <laughs> and I'm glad you did. Don't worry. We won't What's with the side no glances? Way. Like, yeah. And neither will we. Okay, now about that illegal dynamite. Mm -hmm. I guess that's what they're side-eyeing each other about. So we'll forget about the illegal dynamite. <laughs> yeah, Miranda, Bigfoot hit us with the deep cut today. <laughs> he does. He does every time. Now, Miranda. I remember, I remembered a moment from this episode that we didn't see. It didn't happen, or at least I missed it. Miranda, do you remember? Do you remember in this episode Cindy walking into the cave and seeing, um, seeing Wild Boy with the vampire chick, and she said something like, "Well, isn't this cozy?" Do you remember that moment, Miranda? Because it made me say, now wait a minute. Now wait a minute. Since when was jealousy a thing between Wild Boy and and the little girl? And Moran says, yeah, I thought that was missing too. So it wasn't just me. Hmm. We both remember something that didn't happen today. Hmm. Conspiracy theory, I think. Maybe it's just it actually happened and they edited it out. Hmm. Hmm. Should I, I go that, like it was 
yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Miranda says, we literally had a whole conversation about why Wild Boy would be loving on Cindy. Yeah, Neil, maybe it's the Mandela effect. Because we definitely had that conversation. Maybe it was another episode. And we were both thinking it was, hmm. Yeah, because mm. we, we did totally have that conversation. Yeah, we could That's go. Shin, shin massaging material yeah. there. We could go with the obvious explanation. Like it was, we're remembering it wrong. Or we could go with the more choice uh the, the juicier conspiracy theory. Uh, I said to Marty Croft, you <laughs> sons of... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't deny us that. <laughs> All right. So it's uh, almost 1130. We're going to do one more thing. Thank you for watching, everybody, by the way. Um, Marina says, uh, I thought there were two vampire ones. I don't think so. Um... Shenlong says, thank you. No, um, thank you. Yeah. We're going to watch one more thing. This is the thing that me and Mike remember and nobody else in the world seems to remember. <laughs> it's it's a show called Vegetable Soup. Uh, Got a killer killer theme, too. Yeah, it has a really neat has a really neat theme song. It, it uh, came along in the 1970s, the late 1970s, when uh, after the success of... Uh, Sesame Street, the overwhelming success of Sesame Street, there were a lot of copycats. A, a lot of shows that Would came... Would Electric Company be considered a copycat? Electric Company was the same uh, producers. It was yeah. kind of kind of a copycat. But everybody... That brought us Easy Reader, you know, and yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and... Uh, Rita Moreno? And, and, yeah, Rita Moreno. Hey, you guys. And the... Uh, it's the plumber. He's come to fix the sink. And, um, uh, cue Neil saying, I remember the theme song and nothing else again. Oh, Neil <laughs> says, says that he's, he's, uh, he's zinging himself here. <laughs> <laughs> um, Iceman is here. Hi, Iceman. Uh, thank you for coming. But this is the thing that there, there were a lot of people who got in on the, the, uh, Sesame Street format with the, the, the kind of freeform uh, educational stuff. And uh, oh, what, uh, what, uh, for this stream, what is brought to you by what number? 50. 50 so number, number 50. Number 50. There you go. And letter That's A. A. <laughs> and letter A. <laughs> and ba ya ba. <laughs> That's a new letter. That's the 27th <laughs> letter of the alphabet. Yeah. But this is called Vegetable Soup. It's from the late 70s. It's uh, 1975, actually. It's a half-hour show that I remember and Mike remembers and nobody else remembers. Well, let's just watch it. Oh, the Bureau. Carissa, thank you for the $10, and thank you for coming in. This had a great intro. Today's adventure of Outer Scope One from a pile of planks. Okay, I'm going to pause here uh, briefly. First of all, does anybody here remember this? Does, does this ring a bell for anybody? 
Um, Neil says, this definitely looks like it's adjacent to one of the animators for Sesame Street in the 70s. Uh, yeah, a lot of people who worked, uh, who, who contributed work to Sesame Street uh, worked, did other shows. Because Sesame Street drew in talent from uh, everywhere. Um, those uh, animated segments, especially on Sesame Street, they, they brought in uh, every studio uh, at the time. Even Filmation did some Superman and Batman stuff for Sesame Street uh, back in the early days. D-Word says no. Carol says nope. Uh, when I was looking for information about Outer Scope 1, and you notice they start, uh, they... Uh, Outer Scope 1 was their lead-in for every episode. They started with Outer Scope 1, which I always thought was strange mm -hmm. um, because it's so weird. Um, I would think they would put it later in the show. Shenlong doesn't recognize any of this. But uh, when I was looking for information about this, I found a number of people saying uh, in various discussion groups online, the, the few that I could find that would mention vegetable soup, a number of people said that the animation at the beginning of, fret, of Vegetable Soup frightened them when they were children, uh, which I can kind of see because the, the character designs on those are really bizarre. Uh, they, they hardly even look human. Of course, I thought it was, I thought it was cool. I, I thought it was really interesting. I, I liked the music, but I can see little kids finding the, that animation style off-putting. Um, Neil says, I was a kid and wasn't fully awake for it. Okay. <laughs> and a lot of really famous people were involved in this show. James Earl Jones, Bette Midler, Daniel Stern. Mm -hmm. So They had guest stars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yep. So we're going to watch this full episode, uh, first episode of Vegetable Soup, starting with the first episode of Outer Scope 1, which is strange. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little I'm, bit. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just telling you all, it's strange. Uh, Miranda says, as a fully grown kid, I still find this off-putting. <laughs> and now, today's adventure of Outer Scope 1, from a pile of planks. It's a good sort of day to build something. It's a building sort of day. Edgar! Hey, Edgar! What do you want to do today, Edgar? Can we come over to your yard? Oh, hi, Eleanor. And Henry? Sure, come on over. What are you doing with those boards? Just empowers. Anyway, they're leftovers my dad gave me. I think we ought to build something with them. Something special. Something special? Like what, Edgar? I don't know yet, but something. Hey, we could use them to play we're explorers. We could build a wooden shelter in the wilderness. Come on. But where can we explore around here? Yeah, that's a problem. Up There's walk. nothing new to explore. That's true. Uh, is that heavy? <clears throat> yes, it is, Henry. And someday you might be strong enough to carry it. Maybe. Oh, Edgar. Come on, Edgar. Cut it out. You were little once, too, you know. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, here comes Willie. Hi, everyone. Hi, Willie. Hello, Willie. What's happening over here? Nothing yet. We're trying to think of something to make with these boards. Hey, what about a treehouse? Oh, that would be fun. We could see the whole neighborhood from a treehouse. We'd have yeah, to Yeah, Miranda pretty much sums up my feelings about it. The damn oh, hands. Yeah. I didn't the think hands. of that. Yeah. Maybe we could build it with wings and fly it up. Oh. Hello there. Lovely day, isn't it? Hi, Cynthia. Where are you going? I'm taking Everyone's Betty gathering for a like walk. it's the big chill. Are you doing anything interesting? <laughs> yeah. Not yet. We're thinking maybe of building a tree house. I know. Why not make it into a regular house and play right here on the ground? Oh, I love playing house. All I want well, is I what's don't. coming to me. Ooh, All I want is my fair share. I wish we could think up a whole new game. <laughs> How about it, Willie? You're good at thinking up new ideas. You know, I might have an idea. That kid has what? two operable hands right what? now. 
Remember on mm -hmm. TV or the news when they set up the Skylab with the astronauts? That's right. Oh, yeah, Skylab well, worked out well. How about yeah. building a Skylab of our own? <laughs> hey, okay, that's not a good idea. It might even be more fun than house. And we could be real explorers. Space explorers. It's perfect. As a kid, Willie. I was really Logan. afraid of Let's Skylab like falling on, on, on me. Oh, really? Yeah. That was yeah. really sliced in the air. It was a big air. joke that right, Skylab everybody. was going to fall on you. Here's some more wood. Let's start building. This would never happen today. The parents would be like, you get inside. Yeah. I'll start on the inside. Other people in the neighborhood would call, um, would call CPS on you. Yep. They look like they look like cadavers. They look like someone's propped up cadavers. Sure. Here you go. He's look, wearing an egg suit. You nailed me to the Skylab. Gosh, Willie, I'm sorry. Oh, comedy. It's, air, it's like an airmail. Hey, some windows. Windows? On the hat. It's made out of Portholes, the cardboard from an airmail envelope. Nice. <laughs> Was it? <laughs> we could take the yeah, it is. With like the tricycle. little kid in the middle. Good hmm. idea, Henry. Go right, above, right above his glasses. He can be goes in again you can see where it says airmail on it <laughs> there, that does it. neil says and then it landed in australia what a ripoff <laughs> what are you doing edgar making a heat shield a heat shield rob us something that we'll bake in there like a potato gee it seems like a good idea he took his cool jacket off yep Calculations are correct. <laughs> Gonna run a level one now, diagnostic on this thing. This rudder, we'll be able to steer the ship. Hey, I'm trapped. There's no way to get out of here. No way out. Oh no! Some builders we are. We <laughs> did. To put Good it grief. Door. Don't worry, Cynthia. <laughs> I'm coming with the saw. Six days later. <laughs> there, we're all finished. Boy, doesn't it look great? It's oh, just that's, beautiful. That's subjective. Look, here's a picture of the first Skylab. Oh, yes. It's just like ours. I'm going to tack it on mm, our wall. Not quite. I figure it should bring us luck. And yeah, Skylab and luck. Yeah. We're going to need all the luck we can get. But wait a minute. Wait just one minute. How are we going Wait, to take one off? Wait, damn minute. Take off? I thought this was just a game. But even if it is He's a game, Long we've Island. got to plan for a takeoff, Cynthia. Yeah, and that's a problem with all of us weighing down the ship. How about a big balloon? Sooner or mail. later, Henry. Mm -hmm. Balloons always pop. Kites might And love is going to get you. We can take all of our kites and time onto the roof. Nice idea, Eleanor. But what if the wind stopped? Oh, yeah. Well... We've got to think of some oh, way to no. get the Skylab off the ground. Otherwise, we really can't play the game. But what's the difference? Isn't this just pretend? Well, isn't it? Isn't all of it? Done. Done. Shark teeth. To be continued. Next time, no. ready for blast off. Okay. Well, that was quick. That was episode one of Outer Scope, Outer Scope 1. We'll... we'll We'll start uh, watching it weekly with episode two next time. Gosh, that's weird. That's, that's mm -hmm. the strangest looking thing. Neil is saying that there's a show on uh, uh, a show on YouTube called Knickknacks, and there's episode twenty is all about vegetable soup because Nick because this was on the Nick schedule in the eighties. I don't remember this being on Nickelodeon in the eighties. Yeah, do I. Miranda says, I hate it. I wasn't it. watching Nickelodeon yeah. days. Miranda says, I hated that. I must see more. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a cliffhanger. Yep. Yeah, D word. How, what are these kids going to do next? Um, Keep going. Yeah. Um, I was definitely watching Nickelodeon in the 80s. So they, were, they were rerunning the animated Star Trek. Um, 
Hmm. Uh, early 80s before they picked up Lassie, even. Okay, early 80s I wasn't watching. Hmm. No. Yeah, so it was it was mid-80s when I was watching. We've got 10 people watching. Thanks for coming, everybody. Well, let's get back in there and watch the rest of uh, Episode 1 of Vegetable Soup. Did you know that long ago and once upon a time When we wanted to talk to our fellow man, we invented the drum. When we first wanted to make music, we invented the drum. Then we made the bass, the bass line, and when then things really the changed. Battle, we marched to the drum. And then we, is this like a Walt Whitman thing all of a sudden? Well, Beatles, well. When we prayed and we worshipped, it was to the beat of a drum. Which leads to the Muppet Show. soothed and calmed us and when we wanted to tell stories of long long ago the drum would be there to help us along for me this is the bringing back drum um, was made from a fallen tree whose insides had rotted away this is bringing back uh, mid-morning on Sundays when nothing else was on and there would be maybe an episode of Vegetable Soup, maybe Wild Kingdom. Or wood or leather or metal or bamboo. Sometimes it's round or square or tall. And most of the time it has no feet at all. Whoa. What the? In musical groups of today... That was that was abrupt. And matched sounds and rhythms from everywhere coming together. For you see, all countries, all cultures, all people share the drum. And move to its beat and listen to its call. They say magic always works. Is this um, pop, folk, or country? What would you say? <laughs> Both? I got like a... Well, Miranda likes it. Is it?
Oh, kazoos. Great. You're right, D. Word. It does sound like Simon and Garfunkel. Or like the band. <laughs> or, yeah. Um... I can't find anything on it. <laughs> Miranda, kazoo solo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lovin's. Remember drums? No, yeah. Screw, screw, screw that. We're gonna talk about the kazoo now. Yeah. Neil Lovin Spoonful. Yeah. Is... I think he's hit on something. It's it's Love and Spoonful covering Simon and Garfunkel. That's what it sounds like. There's a little bit of Crosby, Stills, and Nash in there, too. It's all over the place. So this this show isn't so much specifically educational. It is just kind of a mood. <laughs> you know, See, there's the base baseline, folks. Yeah. America is a nation of many parts. Each part different. Whoa, that sounds Each like a great beautiful. restaurant. Our people come from nearly. Well, every I'm glad nation. that made you feel better, Miranda. <laughs> Our customs come from many different cultures, and the language we speak, while mainly English. So, so the thrust of this is. Uh, known to us from a dozen different tongues. Inclusion and representation. It looks so like. We say yep. Eve. Multiculturalism. Mm. Yep. Silk. Or ketchup. We are using words loaned to the American language. Or is it catsup? What's the difference? Nothing. When we say yam. Didn't uh, ketchup. Uh, <laughs> Cover that an episode of Mad of, of Mad Men, but I don't know if it's actually true or not. We are using words borrowed from the languages of Ketchup Africa. started out as fish sauce, didn't it? It's like a I don't know. Domino. It's good on everything though. Cigar. <laughs> we don't have any of those. Guitar. Guitar. And parade are just a few of the words in our language that came to us from Spanish-speaking peoples. In Spanish, mixed with Mexican, give us such Chicano words as sombrero, rodeo, and bronco. The languages of the Native Americans of the South have given us the names for cocoa, potato, Chili, potato. <laughs> chocolate, and many other delicious mm. things. Chocolate. So the next time you say zebra, or avocado, or tea, or bronco, you are not only speaking American, but African, Native American, Chinese, and Chicano words as well. That was a good point, actually. Real people, I'd like to introduce you to some real people. Real people. Oh, not Skip Stevenson. Oh. My name is Martin. Right now, my biggest wish is to get a pet snake. I've been trying to talk my mother into it. Uh-oh, bad idea. Oh, well, just get him a BB gun. <laughs> Are you going to read the Dear Abby call? Why should I read the Dear Abby column? Is it funny? Have you read it, John? Well, um, yeah, I didn't notice it. Um, uh, Dad is like, leave on? me out of this. Mm. I'm seeing the only Dear person Abby, who remember kids or people, too. I have a 14-year-old girl who wants a pet snake with all my heart. 
My mother says I can't have it. I even have the money oh. for an aquarium, and I've studied up on this how kid to care. Escalated. Please be a pal and help me convince my mother to let me have a snake, <laughs> Michelle. Wow. Dear Abby, I am a 14-year-old girl who wants a pet snake with all my heart. My mother says I can't have it. Dear Michelle, your mother, like many others, is prejudiced against snakes <laughs> because she knows very little about them. Herpetologists say that a non-poisonous snake makes a wonderful pet, and you can be sure nobody will steal it. <laughs> so you found your boa constrictor. Oh, that worked. Well, nice. Dear Abby had some power back back then. Well, how big is he going to be? Isn't he beautiful? They actually name-checked Dear gorgeous? Abby. They, they could have made up anything. Nigel, you'll love him. Martin, I'll tell you right now, never get to now like that. Now it was thing. dear Alex and Andy. Why, Mom? Why? Really? Because he's not like other pets. Do you remember, you remember, he's you remember scary that? And he's, he's mm -hmm. different. Boy, yeah, there was a short segment. Know. It was about child psychology and aquarium. dealing with stress and stuff like that. Hmm. I can't find anything anywhere about it. Yeah. Yep. Alex and Annie was what it was called. Yeah. Uh oh, did Nigel disappear? All right, you guys, eat your words. Yeah. That's the naughty boy. Did he name it yet? Nigel. Nigel, nice name. Did you let him sleep with you? Of course not. That's some crazy pit. Mine's going to be even crazier because I'm going to get a pony. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> My mother isn't going to have yeah. this. She won't have to. She'll never see him. Yeah. Cats don't know, dogs don't know, because they never seem to leave you alone. But you can bark and you can yell and I never see you no bone. Get the picture, Nigel. <laughs> different vibes with different tribes. <laughs> Oh, thank God. I thought he was about to toss the snake. <laughs> Ouch. What was that? Hey, you didn't tell me he was black. You know, I don't like to hang oh. around with them blacks. Don't be stupid. His mother's my teacher. And he's a real cool guy. He's got a snake for a pet. Maybe you'll get to see him sometime. I don't care. I'm just not supposed to associate. Well... Maybe I could just take a look at a snake. You're not going to take a look at Nigel, because I'm not going to let you. I heard what you said. You don't have to do me any favor. Well, it's just that my mother... You can tell your mother you didn't associate oh. with any black kids. Mm. Mm. So there! <laughs> well, I guess you don't get to see a snake after all. Wow, his house has gotten big. Yeah, dang. Excuse me, you came to my school about a year ago with a zoo show, and um, you had a boa constrictor. Yes, I usually bring one along. Would you like to see it? Yeah. Oh, okay, come on. Like where he falls through the glass and like Harry Potter all over again or something? Or there he is. <laughs> Are you interested in snakes? Yes, very. I have a bow of my own. I thought I could learn a little more about snakes. Sure you can. Take our boa, for instance. Please. Like, literally? Yeah. <laughs> you just have them? Now, this is a South American boa constrictor. And he talks. Right, it'll grow to be about uh, eight, nine feet. Now, the best way to handle him is when you're first picking him up, grab him in the back of the head. Once he calms down, you can let him go. But always let your hands follow him. He likes to be secure. Grab him by the back of the nice. head until you know, he calms it down. feels very good to him. Now they eat rats, hey, was that, mice. Is that good advice? The best thing to do is yeah. keep them frozen in your freezer. Yeah. I'm sorry oh, grab you, uh, it violently. You can later, have ask before you touch. Okay, so. no, I shall, it's okay if I pick the queue up? <laughs> All right. And you're going to need well, one of these sweaters. On Pleasant Avenue in Montclair. Yep. Hey, I'm not far from there. That's on my way home. And you see these you glasses? Yeah, they that'd change be great. when you Maybe walk I outside. Oh, <laughs> I can spare five minutes or so. Wow, that was awfully friendly. 
<laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah. It's on theme song. Yeah. Wow. Nigel the murderess. Oh, what? Uh. Mrs. Harris, we're not trying to gang up on you. Just that we all feel the same way. A snake is a menace to the neighborhood. Well, then you are sort of ganging up on me, aren't you? <laughs> the white lady's wearing furs. <laughs> now, we really want to your side, too. We know that nothing is ever all black and white. I know what you mean. It's just that I think my son should be able to have the kind of... I know what you mean. Get out. My husband and I agree. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, in my Mrs. house. Harris, Get out. the same way, but can't Martin have a less dangerous pet? I'm deathly afraid like of snakes. Like a dog? I know why you feel that way, because a snake looks right. so different. <laughs> yeah. How do I get up here? Me of being never know. <laughs> but all the best authorities agree that a snake is not a dangerous pet. But isn't it true that some snakes find their food wow. in a tree? <laughs> and then grabbing an animal and squeezing it mm -hmm. to death? Well, I don't know what happens in the jungle, but this one is always very Look well up. fed. He disappeared. Not there anymore. Excuse me, it's my son. Mom, this is the translocating boa. Hello, Mr. No. Richardson. You're no. just the man I need. Could you please explain to my neighbors that a snake is Ooh, not he a he spotted it pet? immediately. Sure, actually, yeah. I'd like to give all of you a little talk. Is there some place we could sit comfortably? Sure, let's go in the living room. Ooh. Oh, well, all right. right. Right to this white women. Oh, oh boy. How'd he get up there? He's going to pretend to pull it out of his jacket. Oh, thank you. Uh, how about coffee, everybody? <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, is that to be continued? Hi, oh, no. This is Woody. How are you? Or should I say, Como is that? That's Bette Midler. For today, we're making a Mexican it is. called yeah. guacamole. Yep. It can't be beat. Mexican-Americans awesome. throughout the state love guacamole. They think it's great. And so it is, as you'll soon see. So get in your gear and follow me. Two avocados. Two avocados here and one tomato. One tomato. My dear, I can hardly wait to have a taste of that delicioso avocado paste. We'll need two Forget the onion. chili peppers. That's true, but if you can't get fresh ones, canned ones will do. And it's a good idea to have a grown-up along just sure that things do not go wrong. Now, first you have to peel the avocado, then mash them up along with the tomatoes, then chop up the roasted and the cumin. chili peppers, add a little salt, and mix up all the goodies together. Now what you've got is a fabulous That's not the salad it should make, that's styrofoam. Corn or potato mm. Cheese. Mm. Yep, all good. Mm. Mm. When you have passed the guacamole around, you'll be so surprised at all the friends you found. For everyone loves a new taste treat, whether they're from Mexico or 18th Street. Another nice thing about avocados is the wonderful thing you can do with the pit. Just place it in water, then put it in the dark, and after some days, you'll see it start to grow. Then take the pit, plant it in a pot, and what do you think that you have got? Beginning of what will turn out an alien face hugger? No, I would love to may have my own avocado tree. Yeah, got it. Can't forget the lime, lime juice. Bet, bet forgot a couple of ingredients, but that, that's okay. All right, wait, and now what? Have you ever felt all alone in a big crowd of people? I don't know what a crowd when of pee people looks like anymore. Mm. Or strange, <laughs> yeah. or that most people are not like you. It is probably because you feel okay, like this you're is in a minority. Shifting gears real fast. Being in a minority is like when you're the only kid in class who forgot to bring their lunch. Each of us is in a minority at different times in different ways. Children are sometimes surrounded by adults. Like his Boys may be surrounded by girls. I was. <laughs> Even being surrounded by dogs and cats oh, might wow. make you feel you are in a minority. But if you learn what it's like to feel alone in a crowd of people different from yourself, then maybe you'll know how to make someone else feel. Less alone. At least it was just dogs and cats. 
<laughs> Could have been spiders and scorpions. Komodo it's dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, Por Pee -pee. Porcupines. Is hardcore? Yes. Mary Frances? Yes. Lily? Yes. How did you get so many friends? By being friendly, I guess. But um bum. He had a friend named Hardcore. <laughs> what the hell? Wow. <laughs> well, that was vegetable soup, people. Good, very, very good stuff. Yeah, that was interesting, artsy stuff. Interesting, mm -hmm. artsy stuff that nobody else saw. None of my friends ever saw it, but you and I saw it somehow. Yep. Miranda I think says, vegetable soup was on like right after Zoom, hmm. but before like Sesame Street, maybe or yeah. after. It, it wasn't yeah. on at a regular time on our local mm. stations, so people weren't seeing it. Like I was saying, sometimes I would see it on a Sunday morning. They would use this mm -hmm. filler. Miranda says, "I knew a kid called Hardcore. Probably different though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Knowing Miranda." Many ways yeah. to be hardcore. Yeah. Mustn't judge. Neil says very nice. D word says cute. Yeah, and then uh yeah, next week we'll watch episode two of Outer Scope One and it gets it gets better. It gets weirder. Um it's not uh, it's not exactly space exploration, it's more like Alice in Wonderland. It gets weird. Mm -hmm. And that's why I wanna watch it. Uh Miranda, thank you for being here. Uh, glad to see you. Thank you for being here, Mike, for uh, all these episodes. Um, I, I still would like to find a third host. I, watching those clips of of the two of us with uh, Captain Slinky and with Carissa, there's, there's a there's an energy with three people mm -hmm. that, that I liked. Um, so yeah, I still want to be on the lookout for a third for a third host. But next week, gotta find a third stooge, right? A third stooge. Shemp yeah. has gone. Yeah. Shemp has moved on, so <laughs> find a replacement. Carol, Carol says, thanks, guys. Always fun. Thank you for being here, Carol. And thank you all for your donations. And uh, we will see you next week. And we will go out with uh, Hercules once again. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, everybody.